The Brain That Changes Itself, Stories of Personal Triumph from the Frontiers of Brain Science by Norman Doidge, M.D., is a groundbreaking work that explores the concept of neuroplasticity, the idea that the brain is capable of changing its structure and function in response to experiences, learning, and even injury. The book begins by challenging the old belief that the adult brain is a fixed, immutable structure. Doidge introduces the reader to the modern understanding of the brain as a dynamic, adaptable organ that can rewire itself. This flexibility, known as plasticity, allows the brain to compensate for injury, adjust to new experiences, and learn throughout life. Doidge presents a series of compelling case studies and narratives from patients, doctors, and scientists who have witnessed and facilitated incredible changes in the brain. One of the early stories is that of Barbara Arrowsmith Young, a woman who was born with severe learning disabilities but managed to fundamentally improve her cognitive abilities through painstakingly designed exercises that targeted her brain's weaknesses. This example demonstrates the brain's ability to reorganize itself with appropriate stimulation. Another remarkable story features the work of Dr. Paul Bahirida, who developed devices to help people recover senses they had lost. One such device, the Tactile Visual Sensory Substitution System, allowed blind individuals to perceive the visual world through patterns of tactile stimulation on their skin. This adaptation showcases how other parts of the brain can take over functions typically performed by a damaged region, signifying the brain's remarkable capacity for sensory substitution. Doidge delves into the work of Dr. A. Michael Merzenich, a pioneer in the field of neuroplasticity, who developed the concept of brain maps. These maps are areas responsible for processing sensory or motor functions and can be reshaped through training and therapy. Merzenich's work led to the development of software-based therapies to treat learning disabilities and improve cognitive function in individuals of all ages. In exploring cases of recovery from stroke, Doidge outlines the efforts of Dr. Han, Edward Taub, who developed constraint-induced movement therapy. By restraining the unaffected limb of a stroke patient, Taub encouraged the use of the disabled limb, promoting its recovery through the brain's plasticity. This approach counteracted the problem of learned non-use and greatly improved patients' motor skills. The book also addresses the darker sides of plasticity, such as the ways in which addictions and bad habits can create negative changes in the brain. Doidge explains that repetitive patterns of thought and behavior can lead to destructive neural pathways, making the behavior harder to break. However, the flip side of this is that it's possible to rewire these habits by forming new, positive patterns. Another central theme of the book is the use of neuroplastic principles to treat psychiatric conditions. Doidge discusses the potential for using brain exercises and therapy to treat conditions like obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. He illustrates how some patients who had been considered untreatable found relief through innovative therapies that took advantage of the brain's natural capacity for change. The book addresses sexual plasticity, examining the formation of sexual desires and tastes, and how they can be surprisingly malleable. Doidge explores how experiences, especially during critical periods of brain development, can shape an individual's sexual template influencing what they find attractive or unappealing. In dealing with age-related decline, Doidge explains how neuroplasticity is vital in combating the effects of aging on the brain. He advocates for the idea of lifelong learning and mental activity to maintain cognitive abilities and potentially stave off conditions like Alzheimer's disease. Towards the end of the book, Doidge brings attention to the future possibilities that neuroplasticity could bring. He discusses technologies like transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, and the prospects of using plasticity to develop novel treatments for a variety of neurological and psychological conditions. Throughout each case study and scientific breakthrough, Doidge weaves a narrative that is accessible to lay readers while maintaining scientific accuracy and depth. He highlights not just the science behind neuroplasticity, but also the human stories of struggle, determination, and hope. Doidge concludes by reinforcing the idea that the brain is not just the body's command center. It is also a work in progress, perpetually shaping itself through experience. The Brain That Changes Itself, 
leaves readers with an understanding that our brains, and consequently our abilities and behaviors, are not as fixed as once believed. Through the principles of neuroplasticity, there is potential for transformation throughout an individual's life. The book has been highly influential, changing the way both professionals and the public perceive the human brain. It serves as a testimony to the resilience and adaptability of the human mind and an inspiration for those overcoming neurological challenges and brings hope and excitement about the future of brain science and therapy. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.